Doritos Locos. Yeah, my daughter from made From Taco Bell. She made a Sloppy Joe's tonight. Sloppy oh, Joe. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy Joe. Hawaiian um, buns. Oh, yeah, the, oh, um, the sweet King's buns. Hawaiian. Oh, but they were, they were like the, you know, I forgot what they were called. They were Sam's Choice or something like oh, that. Okay. But they were the Hawaiian sweet bun mm-hmm. type stuff. Oh, my God, it was fucking Dude, great. King's Hawaiian, that's like a treat. I love getting I know, those things. right? Just like the commercial. I know. It really is. <laughs> the truth in advertising right there. <laughs> you know, the only other truth in advertising that I ever hear is Mataint. <laughs> Mataint. <laughs> There's only one truth. Mataint. Uh, Return of the Living Dead. You know, the kid in this was pretty awesome. He was always my favorite part. Yeah? Not the shitty kid. Yeah, <laughs> not, not the shitty kid, <laughs> not, not the derelict. Um, yeah, I I think that. Well, we'll get into it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say too yeah. much because I know we're gonna do a podcast about it. So probably ought to be a little fresh. Yes, so fresh and so clean, clean. Let's get ten seconds for Harambe. Welcome back, everybody, to the Drop Culture Podcast. Um, this is a podcast that picks up that little piece of whatever and shines it up real nice and crams it in your ear holes. Um, that was a very exciting intro, Brock. It is. It's it was, an exciting. It awesome. But you know what's really exciting? What? We're on. We're going to give you number two oh. <laughs> of the Drop and Deuces series. This is another runs. I mean, run. It's definitely another <laughs> run of the Deuces. <laughs> yes. And this and is one this hell of is a deuce. The Deuce of Deuces. Um, at least for this run, in my opinion. This well, I don't know. I, no, 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 no. Well, we were gonna we were gonna do a different deuce, but yeah. we both couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have it now. And we, we have will, corrected we it. We will yeah. fix that. So the next deuce is going to be a good one too. Can you guess what deuce it is? Probably not without any clues. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this one is the Return of the Living Dead Part Two. Now, Return of the Living Dead, I thought was fucking awesome, and I love that movie. Um. It it has always been. I love the callbacks in that movie to where they talk about you know not a living dead. Absolutely, and and but because it's John Russo, I guess was the producer of it. Um, the same guy that was a producer on fucking Night of the Living Dead, right? right? So he was all there. Um, Return of the Living Dead Part Two again was a more cash cow. <laughs> well, and, and, not really though. You know what I found watching this is that, unbeknownst to us, really. I don't think, anyways, there was a link between these last two movies we watched because it was like government Mm -hmm. causing zombies. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like a similar premise. So Chud and uh, Return of the Living Dead both kind of fit into that, you know, 1980s whatever, you know, military industrial. And obviously the sequels took very different approaches. (laughs) 
Um, <laughs> as we discussed in the Bud the Chud episode, if you didn't listen to that, you can you can grab it in our archives. Yeah, yeah, that's um, the first deuce it. of this month. That's right. <laughs> this is, this a, is that, these are all um, <laughs> Halloween deuces. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> they're pretty bad. So they're they're good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. I I am excited for the finale that will yes. come out Halloween weekend. Yes, 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 yes. Um, overall. This movie is still technically kind of cool to me. Um, and you know, I watch it every once in a while just because of one of the principal, the kids is pretty, he's pretty cool. The effects in this one I thought were fucking awesome. You know, they had a lot of really great ones in this one. Uh, yeah. I think it mixed bag, um, for me. Yeah, like okay. I, some of the effects I was like, man, that's really cool. Like, uh, not blow me out of the, the water, but it was good. Yeah, yeah. And then some of the effects I'm like, I see, I see what's going on there. <laughs> yeah. I can see that flap of plastic, you know, yeah. or, or rubber or whatever. Yeah, Sorry about whatever that. it was. Yeah. So there, there was definitely some mixed bag and, and a lot of. I mean, they they had a small budget. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Really? Like yeah. I think it was six, six million, six million, six point two, and it made nine point two at the box. So office. a minor box office success there, but. So with that small budget, what I noticed is a lot of the times the zombies were the same zombies. Pretty much. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, they were just... There's a whole town of zombies. Yeah, I think the whole budget... I, mean, I know they quarantined, but... Yeah, know. it was weird. Uh, it was like the whole budget was blown on fucking the uh, Michael Jackson zombie <laughs> <laughs> at the end. Hey, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. Michael Jackson's in it. Not. <laughs> it's like some fucking, you know, Bob the ex-car salesman. You know what I mean? <laughs> is yeah, the... it was like, here's an afterthought. Let's just <laughs> yeah. throw um, the Michael Jackson zombie from the Thriller video in there. We'll see if you but... catch it. <laughs> I wonder if you'll catch it because it'll be in front of everything and just weird. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> the de- yeah. Okay, was, we'll get to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this movie came out in 1988 yeah. as well. So it was. I, what's the coolest part about this whole fucking movie is the movie poster. No shit. Yeah, no. Um, the movie poster is like one of my favorite ones to look at, just because of the way that they've kind of had everything framed with uh, the zombies, and then. Of course, you know, you got the cloud coming up because that's how they get into everything. And I love the way that they make the zombies come to life in this. Right. Um, just like they did in the first one, you yep. know, it's like this is this is the plan for this trioxin shit is to escape. Right. And to get into the clouds and then it like seeds the clouds somehow, causes a rain, gets into the fucking ground and then everybody wakes up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Craving brains. You know, these they were like brains. And because because um, what's like uh, the way they explain it in the first one where that one zombie was laying on the table and they're like, why are you doing this? Brains because of the pain. You know, right. that's like a freaky fucking part. Right. Uh, I love that shit where she's like, it hurts. It's, it's so just the voice is so ugh, creepy and fucking weird, right? Right. Um, so let's get into who directed this. Kev, Ken Weederhorn. Now, I, looking at the movies that he did, he really didn't do a lot and he kind of like stopped doing movies. Uh, I mean, he did that movie, The Dark Tower. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Which uh, uh, would be crazy. Uh, yeah, I definitely yeah. wouldn't have watched this movie if that was the case. No, no. Um, Shockwaves, which I have never watched, but I have it. Okay. I have Shockwaves. I've been wanting to watch it. I just need the right time, maybe. That, I think when I, I did read up on that, and it said it came out to kind of mixed reviews. Yeah. Like some people thought it was kind of cutting edge, a different way to take the zombie story. It was and Nazi zombies. People, yeah, and the... But a lot of people thought it was very tropey at the same time and kind of, you know, yeah. so I I think, again, just mixed reviews. But a lot of, like, those people were that did think it was good was because they, they did the story in a different way. Yeah. It wasn't a lot of the shock zombie stuff, you know what I mean? Right, like, right, right. But, well, he did Meatballs Part 2. <laughs> yep. And Why that's was he a Part 2 dude? I like, when what, <laughs> I saw that and I was like, oh, cool. Uh, this guy was a deuce in and of himself. I guess. Um, well, if you see Meatballs 2... Yes. No meatballs. No, it isn't. <laughs> Fucking weird throw movie that out too. There. Uh, he actually wrote this too. Yeah, of course you know? he did. So um, that guy is not high in honors. And and I could see the you know the idea to have part two, and then add in some stuff from part one and kind of go around like that was a was a very kitschy idea, and it would have done really well if it was executed better. Was was he involved with the first one? I don't. 
think so. No, nope. yeah. not at all. No, because it was uh, what eighty six when the first one came. Out, yeah, I, think. I yeah. didn't know if he was involved in some way or if he was just like, "Hey, I'm a writer guy and I'm going to write this." Well, he started doing these, you know, horror comedies, and this is about the time when the horror comedy was coming into play. You mean about the time Bud Chud? <laughs> yes. Yeah, because it was kind of like all around there, and they're like, "Oh man, everybody Late wants 80s, to see zombies." 90s, yeah. yeah, zombies laughing. You know, Ooh, well. Whatever. Evil Dead, you know what I mean? I know, right? I think that's really the the impetus for a lot of that. Yeah, correct. That that kind of that kind of led the the pack in that that kind of a deal. But Evil Dead was so fucking great that you really couldn't top something oh, like 100%. that. Oh, 100%. And they were just kind of put they were, they were taking a pinhead of it, you know what I mean, of that nitroglycerin that was that movie. Right. And basically like, "Oh, maybe we got something with this one." And it just it doesn't Most work. Most time doesn't work. Yeah, yeah cuz I know uh, Return of the Living Dead Part 3 is There's a 3? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did not it, know that. I the third one... I seldom journey past the second. Well... I try yeah. to stop at a deuce. <laughs> well, the third one is pretty shitty, too. I'm sure. Um, but my, it's... My, my assumption, and again, I'm not yeah. going to say that my my opinion of this movie is bad. Yeah. I, I did yeah. not enjoy watching it. But I like part three better than part two. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but my assumption is always that the third one's going to be worse than the second one, which is generally true. They had a pretty long break in between them, and they really did improve a lot of stuff. And the zombies in this, in the the third one, were awesome. Even um, you know how fast they would turn in all these movies. The main one didn't turn that fast, and it was fucking pretty cool. You right know, on. I mean, the way they did it, it's still pretty bad. But <laughs> sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, and yeah. stuff like that makes sense that they could update that just yeah. with the you know. The, the abilities that we have nowadays. Right, right, right. Or not even nowadays, but then, you know. Yeah, they, yeah. They were progressing. Yeah, they had, they had some cool shit in it. Um, now, from what I... I think they had a different kind of a score throughout the whole thing, but they didn't like it, so they rescored it. And whenever they re-released this on, like, Blu-ray or something, mm -hmm. it actually had the original score to it. And I don't really pay attention to the music on most of the... Uh, horror movies and I, these i want to punk rock like the first one and and sure. heavy metal is like you wanna party <laughs> you know what i mean and like whoa this fucking zombie opening his eyes and shit like that right uh <laughs> cinematography was robert elswit um there's i don't really think there's a lot of big people that i could really kind of look at and be like oh yo well, that guy was here you know sure <laughs> Um, some of these people, you know, actually one of the actors was, was in a lot of shit, um, for a lot, for as far as like her career is still going. Yeah. And, and so let's get into that cast a little bit. Cool. cool. So our main guy, the kid, Jesse, Jesse Wilson, Jesse, Jesse, Michael, oh, Jesse, Kenworthy. Yeah. So, um, this was just a kid that did a shit ton of commercials, like 135 commercials or Jesus. something like that. And he's like, I guess, really well known in Canada because there was like a string of commercials that aired over time. He was like for a long time. Right, right. Where yeah. they're like that kid, you know, uh, like everybody knows who he is. He he kind of almost looked like the all American little kid, but he was smarter than than. That's because he was Canadian. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's, he's American. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but. Do you know what he was in? He was in The Blob. Yeah, yeah. In the 1988. Um, he was the little brother, too. Yep, <laughs> but he had that attitude, you know. He was a smart-ass kid, and, you know, it's kind of funny, but uh, I don't know. It's just, it kind of, he worked for it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, what I think it's really funny about this kid, too, is because his, you know, it could have progressed further, his career, his well-known, like, being in the presence, because he was actually cast for 90210. And you remember that... uh Brian Austin Green guy, he's he was in. Yeah, he's what? Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. That was his character, and he accepted it, and then he turned it down at the last minute to make to just not do it. Oh, <laughs> he's like, nope. But I guess that Aaron Spelling got pissed off about it and really kind of ended his career. From what you know, again, just reading whether that's true or not, I don't know. So you don't fuck. But with I guess me. he, yeah, I guess he got pretty mad because he's well, like, I mean, accepted it and then walked away. Like he could have been, he could have been a, a like a, you know, he was a cool kid, you know. In this movie, he fucking had all the best lines. He was a fucking smart ass, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. I mean, he had some cool shit, right? Um, and then we got um, Thor Van Lingen. Um, what? Um, he was he was playing. What's his name? Billy. Um, oh, Billy. Which I think he was the. Uh, was he the other kid? You know that was in the deal, or was he the main kid? Because you got Jason Hogan was uh, one of the other kids too. So those three kids were at the very beginning, which is kind of a weird start too. Well, we'll let's talk about it here in a second. But uh, <laughs> yeah, and then you got James Karen as Ed, um, and he was who was he? He was like um, which one was he? Which one was Ed? Oh my God! Yes, that's him. Yeah, he was the one that was he. He was in both of the the movies. Okay, he was the old man. You know that he was one of the grave robbers. Okay, why did I fucking? Because I'm always thinking of Clue Gallagher that was in the first uh, one. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Ed was the dude in the first one too. That was like you know the guy that was in, showing him. He's like these things have been down here since. Uh, 1964 you know what i mean it's like right. boom boom and it's a <laughs> him and tom matthews right tom matthews of course is in one of my all-time favorite fucking movies of all uh ever um friday the 13th part six uh tom matthews was in a lot of stuff he really was um but he never i i just always kind of wondered what what happened to him you know why did he go away <laughs> Yeah, Where I have always you gone? liked him. I always liked him in that stuff, but he's he's been in a lot of shit. Oh sure. I, I think really his last screen credit is um oh shit, 2020. And he's playing um Tommy Jarvis in it. What never hike in the snow. Oh, it's a video. I guess I don't, I don't know what the uh, fuck that is, um, but yeah, he's he's been on a lot of different things, but um, literally, like part six, Friday the Thirteenth, part six is the best one, you know, um, and yeah, I know he probably does the horror conventions. I'd like to meet that dude someday. Just he goes to horror conventions, probably. I bet you he's one of those. Yeah, he's one of those dudes that signs autographs for twenty bucks. <laughs> he's no Steve Gutenberg, but you know. Uh, then you got Suzanne Snyder. She's the one that still had a career. Yes, she was absolutely. in like uh, um, she was in Night of the Creeps. Night of the Creeps. Obviously, that was before this, right? Um, but before that, and I couldn't, I can't, I don't remember her. But she was in Last Starfighter. I, she wasn't the main girl, obviously, but she was in that. Was uh, she the one that's like Kita Kita? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't remember her at all. Kita, but Kita. Oddly enough, here's a tie back to. Uh, she was also in the later season of uh, Head of the Class. Oh, shit. That's another Head of the Class. Actually, no. I think that's the movie Head of the Class, oh. which is different. Um, she was in Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yep. She was the main in that one. She was also in Weird Science. Mm -hmm. She oh, was one yeah. of the girls. Um, she was uh, Anthony Michael Hall's girl, right? That's right. She was the blonde yeah, in that yeah. one. Yeah. Um, she, yeah, it, I yeah. didn't know she was in Remo Williams. Yeah, I saw that too. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah. she was in Fool's Rush In. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good movie. Mm -hmm. uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> the preppy murder. I can see her in that. But, you know, she was in one of the Friday the 13th, wasn't she? And Suzanne Snyder, she is uh, in this movie, The Girlfriend, right? Um, Brenda. Brenda, yeah. the girlfriend. Of, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, Tom Matthews. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's fucking, her hair is all. I think what her name was. It was escaping me for some reason. Yeah, short and straight. Because all I could think about was Lucy, which was the sister who did nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's not true. She did a lot of movies later. Yeah. Um, yeah. She was in Mickey Blue Eyes, Boiler Room. Yeah, see. Um, She's had a career up until right now, but just too. like sparse, though. You know what I mean? It was like uh, she made that. She made uh, Return of the Living Dead Part Two, and I'm sure she's been in other things. Um, but like to her highlights are like Only You, which is like 1992, so that's like four years later. No, well, she and does. And then Mickey Blue Eyes, 1999, five years, you know, seven years later, and then kind of 2000s, mid 2000s. Just a couple things here and there. Well, she but was I think she was a big television show yeah. person, too. Well, well, she was on Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh. Um, well, there you fucking go. Which means that she was also on um, 
The fall guy? <laughs> three different law and orders. Uh, yes. Which is fact. She was on Damn. all three of the... You know what we need to do, though, um, because of that? What's I that? think in every movie that we have watched for this podcast and talked about, there's at least one dude in it or a woman mm-hmm. that has been on a Walker, Texas Ranger. I really think so. No joke. I would be more impressed if they were at least one person that was on a Simon and Simon. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perhaps a hard castle in McCormick. Oh, my God. If there is... <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you got Hanela Segal. She was the uh, dance instructor, of course. Um, <laughs> that apparently, like, zombies love. They're like, oh, my God. Brains? Mm, we <laughs> working out brains. <laughs> then Jonathan Terry, um, Jonathan Terry, he was um, one of the uh, officers. Um, one of the um, yeah, he was from Halloween three. Yep, Halloween three, season of the witch. He was he also was in first, Return of the Living yeah. Dead. Um, it, I think he reprised the same role pretty much um, from part one. I thought um, it was cool that Skinner from X Files was in this. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Horace Pinker. Um, um, <laughs> That's yes. who it is. Yeah, yeah Horace Pinker. Yeah. Uh, Mitch Pileggi, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I saw him, I was like, yes! <laughs> it's fucking Horace Pinker, man, from Shocker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dana Ashbrook, which... Uh, and that guy was on um, the guy Skinner mm-hmm. from X-Files and all the other things. He was also on Sons of Anarchy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron's Darby. Yeah, he's he's been on a lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, but he's always... Like, kind of high-profile stuff, really, you know, like... The X Files was a big show. Sons yeah. of Anarchy was a big show. You know, like all those things were pretty big. Um, and then he had to be fucking Horace Pinker. Hey, <laughs> He's all, shut up, you little shit! You can't fuck with Shocker. Come on, fuck go. no, man. That movie fucking rules. <laughs> Shocker rules. <laughs> I don't know that that's true, but <laughs> um, okay. So uh, Philip Burns or Bru- Bruins. Bruins. Um, he was the doctor, which he played it. He played it so ham in this God, movie. Was so ham. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, dude, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Um, why uh, do you have to be like, <gasps> hmm? There's a, there's two people. We'll get into it when we get into the movie. But there's two people that I really just wanted to kill myself. <laughs> I'd be like, these two fuckers are dead. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's one of them. Yeah. Uh, after after Nicholas Pelegi or whatnot, Mitch or Mitch Pelegi, mm-hmm. I don't think there's really anybody. Yeah, else there's nobody to talk that we about. We need to like, yeah. Not the, I did see that um, Doug Benson played one of the zombies, the high pitched voice zombie. Oh, you yeah. know Doug Benson? I think from so. the Man Show. Oh my God! For real? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's. Or maybe it wasn't special oh. zombie. As Douglas Benson. No, he was, a, he was a big Comedy Central guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He did uh, Getting Doug with High. Yeah. yeah. No, he's all about smoking weed. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't he on the man show like after Kimmel left and all that? I think so. And he, he tours the country just smoking weed and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he did the movie Super High. He's a comedian. Yeah. 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 Super High. I just made up a new word. A comedian. Comedian. Yeah, he's a comedian. <laughs> This is a podcast where I talk and stuff. Yeah. Sorry about that. So you know he's got the poster hanging on as well. <laughs> he's like, dude, I was in that fucking movie. And they're like, really? Yeah, he's like 38 minutes and 42 seconds. <laughs> okay. So um, I guess we can kind of. Um... I think that there's somebody else in this cast. And when we get to it, I'm going to be like, that's that's who that is. I don't care what anybody else says in the world. It's who it is. So we'll get there, though. Okay. Because it's not listed anywhere, but I think that's the case. <laughs> well, that Sally Smithy chick, too, she was in quite a few things that I that I can remember. Um, Do she probably you didn't remember? Have. I just remember her from this movie, I guess, the um, most. You know? I don't know. That was Which character is she? Billy's mom. Oh, okay, so she oh, was a mom with the glasses yeah. and everything like that. Maybe it's just this movie. I don't remember. Maybe her. she, uh, uh, yeah, Thor Van uh, Lindgren, mm-hmm. Lingen. He's the he's the douchebag kid. You know what I mean? He's the kid that would like fuck. He's he's the Sid. Yeah, you know that explode his fucking toys and shit. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did we talk about Dana Ashbrook? Um, because he's the hero. 
He's the cable installer. Yeah, he doesn't look the same though. Well, he was in Twin Peaks. Yeah, Twin Peaks. That was like a his big role, the one that I remember him from. And I didn't really watch that show a lot. Yeah, Fire Walk with Me. Yeah. Um, but he was um he was one of the main dudes in like Fire Walk with Me. I think he was one of the main dudes in the Twin Peaks show. Yeah, yeah. You know? He was I like um Laura whatever. Um Laura Palmer's yes. boyfriend or one of her Boyfriend, but in this he is Tom Essex. Yes, cable installer, fresh out of high school, zombie killing hero, zombie killer, zombie killer of the week. <laughs> uh, so, all right, you ready to get into this? You know, I'm here. Do you got your toilet paper ready for this <laughs> deuce? Oh, I've already had to wash up. Yeah, like basically <laughs> last night after I got done, I was like, "Yo, I need to take a bath." <laughs> Because this deuce was fucking heavy, you know? It was right in it. Okay, so basically, they kind of... They don't necessarily pick up from where the first one started or or ended. ended, Right. But we do see the trioxin being transported. Because didn't they explode the the town at the end of Return of the Living Dead? That was implied. that They dropped a bomb on it and shit like that. Okay, cool. Right? So, um, I guess... They were transporting them across, and I love the G.I. Joe that's smoking the fucking little pinner joint, right? Okay, yeah, so when I first see that, you know, like, I'm like, this guy's driving with headphones. That's illegal. Yeah. And then he pulls out a fucking joint, and I'm like, oh, never mind. Dude. Yeah. He doesn't give a fuck. No, but and like, he's driving an army, and, like, just hands it over. And, yeah. I, again, I was in the military. I'm not saying that never happened. <laughs> but I will tell you something that doesn't happen. You don't that the back of a deuce and a half? <laughs> The back doesn't just fall open no, like that. No, There's no. giant metal pins that go in there. Yeah. You don't you don't hit a fucking bump. No. Maybe a pothole in Colorado Springs, but <laughs> but literally not that but little no, bump that yeah, he ran no. over. None and I was going to ask you too. I was like, since you were in the service, uh-huh. <laughs> is that part of regulation? <laughs> Can you have like a pinner joint, you know what I mean? And um, you know is that 80s weed that fucking sucked ass, right? So he probably wasn't really high. So, um, he had like a toothpick for plausible deniability. (laughs) I will say that that is definitely not uniform. Um, not saying that never happened. Um, for some people that maybe (laughs) were there, that's all. (laughs) That is all. Well, I plead the fifth. Yeah. So they're going through and it's raining. And of course, it's a big kind of, they're doing it in the middle of the night. So, going through and the fucking thing pops off and then hits a bump. The thing falls. So let's talk about that real quick because that scene where they fall out was real dumb. Yeah, because uh, they <laughs> fall out r- real dumb. Like I said, <laughs> and <laughs> and then they just kind of stop on the side of the road. And the next thing you know, this one's like launched off yeah. the side of the cliff. Like it, what what the fuck happened right there? Right. And then it's into the river. It was a lucky one. Yeah. I mean, they give you that kind of like tease because it's moving. And it, it, uh, and it's like, dude, that motherfucker was high when he was putting that shit in the truck. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it well, was like. I mean, there was, there was a strap on it. The, yeah. And the strap came loose. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Did he not? I, 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 <laughs> they didn't check that shit. They got fucking zombies in cans. Yeah, and they that's didn't what check I'm, it. That's what I'm saying. This is, and first of all, are you really going to move those in deuce and a half? Probably not. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, that shit's going to be like in a fucking armored car. Like in a tanker or something. Yeah, you know why not, I mean? right? Yeah. yeah. No, but they're traveling, well, because it's in the middle of the night. They're going through really weird fucking towns and shit like that, right? Right. So, of course. Barrels it, of trioxin. The trioxin falls, and it's a rainstorm, so where's it going? Yeah. And they do the classic Return of the Living Dead slow-mo um, or the uh, still shot where it's like, pew, sit, ubu, sit. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, ding, ding, ding. You're like, no way. It's starting again. Oh, my goodness. So the next day, right? Um, What is it? Um, what What is his name? Jesse. Jesse's looking out the window, and he sees, you know, the kids getting kicked out of the construction Johnny area. Johnny and Billy yeah. getting kicked out. <laughs> They're like, get out of here. You know you're not supposed to be playing around here. And it's a track house, you yeah, know. Yeah. They're they're all building this house. On the it's edge of obviously town, like a, a new area because they mentioned that throughout the movie. Yeah. I think two times. Yeah, it was like yeah. basically what happened. 
Uh, it was the Poltergeist neighborhood before yes. Poltergeist. Yes, absolutely. that's what I thought. <laughs> that's funny because when I showed it, I thought of like those little towns they built, like out in the middle of the desert to test bombs. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. It is just a weird fucking like little... where Bruce Banner was. Yeah, <laughs> like get out of the way, get down, uh, Rick Jones. Yeah, so he I'm brings a him... rage monster. <laughs> <laughs> so he brings him like a fucking comic book, and he's like, "Okay, you read Spider Man?" Yeah, it was like Spider Man two sixty eight or something like that, right? Uh, but he's like, I don't remember. I I remembered at the time which yeah, exactly which one it was because yeah. I was trying to remember who was on the cover. It, it it's in it's in the IMDb. It is says it? which one it is. Yeah. Um. But then he's like, "You're in. We had a talk, and you're in." And he didn't want to be part of the group. But he's though. like, "No, yeah. you know, I'm not a follower. I got homework." <laughs> yeah. He he pulls that smart yeah, ass shit. Fo- I'm not a follower. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't really want to. And they're like, "No." We said you're in, and you're in. <laughs> yeah, now you don't have a choice. Now yeah. they're going to... Like, come with me. Yeah, let's go to the clubhouse. Let's go to the clubhouse. Oh, there's a clubhouse. And he's like, what, are you chicken? <laughs> no? So then they get to the fucking mausoleum, right? <laughs> they're walking up to it, and he's like, you know what? Second thought, I changed my mind. They're like, what, are you a pussy? <laughs> he's like, no. Um, I just don't want to go in there. And then, of course, they got to be fucking running away and shit like that. So that kid's pretty fast and he gets away, you know? And of course, he goes down to the storm drain. (laughs) And they're like, oh, god damn it. And, you know, he fits through the fucking steel gate and everything. And, you know, the creepy kid and the fucking follower kid is like, dude, bro. You know, he's like the guy that's probably lifting weights right now. Right. You know? Well, not <laughs> I'm anymore. making gains. We, we found out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 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 So, don't they chase him to like a mausoleum? Well, no, they, he's running from the mausoleum because they're trying to throw him in and he, and he steps on the one kid's shoe and he fucking right. runs down, right? So he right. escapes. But yeah, he doesn't keep going. Right. You know, he's that, already got a go. good lead and he's like, whew, whew, I think yeah. I lost him. Gotta breathe for a minute. <laughs> and then he goes into the fucking storm drain and he only hides about five feet in, right? Right. And then, of course, fucking, you know, douchebag walks in there and is like, where are you at, Jesse? That's right. Come on out. And he walks like two feet in, and he's like, "There you are, you little punk! <laughs> you better Jesse, do what we come say. out and play." <laughs> yeah, and of course, it's rained, you know, that night before, so that water is fucking piling up, and there's all kinds of debris in the fucking storm drain and shit like that because the river washed through it or something. I don't know right. what the fuck, right? The river runs through it with Robert Redford. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Be cool mix of these two movies. Yeah. Well, and then all of a sudden they see that barrel. They're like. <clears throat> Dude, what's this? He's like, it's probably like ammo or something. <laughs> what's this? And they wipe off the fucking keypad, right? Right. Which it's got the... Because it lights up blue. Yeah, literally. And it's got the simplest combination on it, yeah. which we'll find out. <laughs> so, but Jesse wants to call the army because their phone number for the army is on the side of it, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're like, shut up, pussy. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Now it's time for initiation, bitch. <laughs> and then they take him into the mausoleum and they put the stick in it. Yeah, well, you're not going to go, go tell nobody. Okay, okay, of course. And he's like, oh, man, just keep cool. <laughs> and he sees, oh. Yeah, he's oh. like the most uh, chill kid, really. Like He doesn't freak out about any of it. Not at all. Not so at he, all. Yeah, he pulls out the slab. Yeah. And then climbs on top of the coffin. And then falls through. Which was weird to me because it was on a thing. I don't know how those work. I guess maybe I thought it was one solid piece. Yeah, yeah. And it's like. Yeah, he comes falling through. Yeah. Trying to get out the top of the mausoleum. Yeah. (laughs) Because there's a broken deal. Now, there are people that maintain fucking cemeteries and stuff, right? That is true. But uh, having been in a town where there's a mausoleum and a cemetery. They're not always there. It's not perfect. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe once a month, yeah. but at least, Well, yeah. no, I think even if they're like, uh, so I know in a lot of towns that they actually have uh, people that take care of the cemeteries that work for the city. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? So they cover all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this one was they're in disrepair. Like, they're not like guarding it 24 seven and they're definitely not repairing it on time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and honestly, nobody's probably visited this place because I mean, everything's all fucking like statues, yeah. heads are off. Everything's yeah. knocked over. I assume, like you said, this is the cemetery from poltergeist that they build their, ha- their, right, right, their right, house right. on. Yeah. yeah. We're going to say this is the same world. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're <laughs> crossing poltergeist it together. And living dead world. Makes this movie a lot better if you yeah. do that. Yeah. It kind of puts it together. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry to bother you. <laughs> um, so, of course, they trap him in there, and he's there. And that's when we get the introduction of Ed and Joey and Brenda, right? They pull up in the fucking, you know, in the wizard van, you know yeah. what I mean? And he's like, come on. we." Um, and he's like, man, it's like $100. Yeah, because she's like, like, I want to go dancing. Let's go party. Let's go dancing. And he's like, hold on, baby. It'll just be a little bit. He promised me $100. Yeah. And like, what? Oh, 1988, 100 bucks. That's the fucking USS flag for G.I. Joe right there. That's fucking an NES. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah, that's like Sega Genesis yeah. money. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess 88. Right? Yeah, but no, he's going to go buy yeah. fucking martinis and. No, more like Paps Blue Ribbon and fucking yeah, yeah. yeah cheap yeah. cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she, um, of, of course, it's the old man, you know, just yeah. like he was in the first one. And they kind of come out, and he's like, "Oh, this kissy stuff," yeah. you know what I mean? And they, yeah. and he's like, you know, some of these people actually want, you know, heads that have never been buried. And then he makes that comment. He's like, "Well, how would they know that they haven't been buried?" He's like. He says he like is gets really serious and he's right. like, the, "Well, that would be misleading, <laughs> and we don't do that, and I don't lie." You're like, "What the?" He's but got you're scruples. A grave robber. He's a fucking grave robber. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Maybe it's easier. He doesn't have to dig. That's pretty much what it was. Um, True. <laughs> so that's his whole job is grave robbing. It's weird. Yeah, and just hiring random dudes. Right, right, right. Hey, hey man. You look strong. Yeah. <laughs> you want to carry some shit? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Carry this disembodied head. Uh, so that's whenever the kid falls through the fucking deal and he, he lands on the floor and he's like, whoa, <sighs> keep it cool. And he looks at the fucking, the, the corpse and then all of a sudden the head's like, yeah. looks at him. He's like, falls oh. over. and then he gets up and then he hears him coming. So he hides again. So they basically kind of like moved one scene that they already shot. Right. And like intertwined it in. You could, awesomely tell that it was a fucking earlier shot. Right. So he's hiding and then all of a sudden he escapes and I was like, get out of here, kid, or I'll fucking, you know, shoot you. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what? So they get in there and, and, you know, he's kind of talking about different stuff and they're like, ooh, let's check this one out, you know? And so they actually start their, their robbing. But of course, you know, the kid gets away and he goes home and that's where his sister is. Right. Doing jazzercise yes. or whatever the fuck that is, the aerobics, which was a trope in the eighties. Sure, all the younger girls that were in high school were doing aerobics. I think really since <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, even not even just the younger girls doing aerobics. I mean, yeah. I'm, like what immediately comes to my mind is the scene from um, Trick or Treat with your throat out. <laughs> oh yes, uh, fucking Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm I think like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. exercise. Tri- yeah, trick or treat. They have yeah. they have that. Um, Friday the Thirteenth Part um, Three. They have that. Um, uh, God, there's one million you, 80s and, movies, where and there's they're girls all like, doing aerobics. let's do the aerobics." Um, Bud the Chud. Yep, yeah, aerobics in that motherfucker yeah. right there. Um, and they're like, "Push the walls away! Push the walls away! <laughs> Don't let the walls come in, ladies." That's how you, you can know? have hot girls of the time. In tight fitting clothes, yeah, and still make it PG, you know. <laughs> and, and you know that that was kind of almost a letdown with this movie because there was no t- TNA, right? You know what I mean? Well, you expected that because in the first First-time. Return of the Living Dead, there was a lot, truth, you know. <laughs> so there wasn't any in this, no. right? So you're like, ah, oh, man, I'm let down as a kid. I'm kind of yeah, and this was rated R because there was a lot of cursing, right, 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 from exactly, a, like. 10 year old kid yeah and at the he same he cursed more than anybody oh, yeah. in this movie and well he well this is where you find out that when I say curse like I'm chastising <laughs> but if you've listened to our episode you know I don't give a fuck yeah we, <laughs> this is where you find out their parents aren't interior decorators because it looks like the house is rented you know what I mean <laughs> it looks really shitty right. um, and of course parents aren't there he's there she's like you gotta do your homework or I'm gonna tell mom right I'm like okay I guess fucking Whatever, you know, and then that's when they cut back to the kids going back to the fucking deal, right? And they're like, five, four, fucking gets them, right? Of Of course. course. And they're like, oh, I can't breathe. (laughs) Let's get out of here. You know, I I don't think that we mentioned... Is that where they see the face? No, that was that was the first time with all three of them. Did we mention that? No, yeah, Yeah. because they jump... jump 
instead of going around the edge, they jump into the water and they're like, oh my God. And that's when they lock him up. Right. You know, they, they kind of grab him. Come on. Punk. But they see the zombie face in the yeah, thing. Yeah, because he's got his hands up and he's like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that's where we see our first zombie. So right, I just right. wanted to make sure we mentioned that. Yeah. Because we're uh, building an atmosphere here. Correct, correct. Yeah. So, yeah, of course, the kids get the gas, right? But the gas starts going everywhere. How do you make green fog anyway? It's fucking so cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this green fog permeates in the air and it keeps going and the kids go home, right? You, or at least you think they do, right? So they're headed there. But then all of a sudden it actually starts seeding the fucking, uh, the, the clouds and causes the acid rainfall. Yeah. I was a little confused on the science there. I didn't know like if it was just permeating the ground and then acid rain came no 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 because in the first one it did the same thing okay as soon as the gas was leaked out um it went into the air and then caused it to seed everything that's right yeah so that's how it gets into the fucking ground and reanimates the corpses right which was really cool um so that's when he's looking out the uh the window and he sees the two boys you know they're they're Getting their bikes out of the fucking, you know, I'm surprised the foreman let them leave their bikes there. You know what I mean? They're like, just leave your bikes, but just no playing. Get the fuck out of here. No playing around here, you sons of bitches. <laughs> um, so, and then he's like, oh, okay, well, maybe I need to sneak out and go see what's the matter with Billy. You know what I mean? Why does he care about this fucking piece of shit kid? Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? I mean, Sid was a dick. Right. You know, <laughs> he was a fucking asshole with braces. But Jesse's a ninth feeling kid. I guess, you know. You know, he's like, hey, he so, so he's about, yeah, so he's about to sneak out. Then, of course, boom, the fucking cable repair man. It's like a bad porno. He's like, hey, didn't you go to Central? Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, uh, yes. Don't you remember me? Swim team, almost. <laughs> Uh, what student council <laughs> what no. no yeah no tv's in here yeah yeah come on stupid <laughs> <laughs> you're not in do, college yet little do we know we just met the hero of the movie mm-hmm. so jesse's hiding in the um or whoever yes yeah, jesse right he's yeah. hiding in the closet it's like oh my god gag me with a spoon because they, they're like oh <laughs> So he runs over and he, and he goes to see, um, his mom, but he's very quick too. This kid's quick. He knocks on the door. He's like, yeah, can I see, uh, Billy? And, and she's like, no, he's sick. I put him to bed. It's like, but I brought uh, his homework. I got his homework. Oh, okay, cool. You can give it to me. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and give it to me. No, it'd be he better would, if I showed him. He won't understand. Yeah. I got to show him. And they're like, okay, cool. Only for a minute. And he goes in there and he, and he looks fucking dead already. Yeah. yeah. You know? And he's then on, of course. Motherfucker's on his way out. Yeah. Then of course he's like, oh man. He's like, don't you say anything, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, and then he's like, no, I won't say nothing. You know? <laughs> so of course, right? Um, mom comes in and is like, man, you're actually below temperature. This is where, are you even putting this under your tongue? Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> so he's like, <laughs> And then, of course, they're back, right? Right. Um, then you get to see a little bit more of them inside the mausoleum, which is pretty funny. You know, Tom Matthews is like, man, this sucks. You know, <laughs> he's all, hold on a minute. And so he like fucking pulls out the one and he's like, oh, she was a real looker back in the day, wasn't she? <laughs> and he's like, dude, that's fucking weird. Then he grabs the axe and he fucking one chop. Yep. Yep. What does he say? She was real plump or, or real right back in her day. <laughs> like, what a sick fuck, right? Well, and, and the dude goes to leave. He's like, fuck this, I'm out. Yeah, but he entices him with He's gold. Like, I think your girly <laughs> would like this. Yeah. I, and you know, I'm out of here. What? Yeah, <laughs> my immediate thought was, he's like, hey, baby, I got this for you. She'd be like, did you get this off a fucking dead person? What were you guys doing in the fucking cemetery? <laughs> You're grave robbing, right? That's fucked up. Let's go sell it. I don't want to wear it. Right. You know, so it's fucked up. <laughs> and then he snips off her finger, right? Right. Grabs the ring. the ring. He's like, ching Yeah, he's like old school fucking grave robbing. Right. And then they do the they do the cut to to where he's like, oh, 1955. Yeah. Mm, this <laughs> one's good. You know? <laughs> so you're like, what the fuck, right? Um, so of course, um, Jesse's pretty smart in a way. Um 
He basically goes back to the sewer, but he's got like a fucking PPE yeah. mask, right? Right. He's got the uh, in in ninety five mask. <laughs> he's got the, he's got the glove or the goggles. the goggles and the fucking hood. Yes. And he walks over there and he's like, "Huh, it's open." You know, that's weird. Uh, and he kind of is like, huh, that's And he different. clears off, and he takes the number, and he writes it on his notepad. Is he smart? Because he brought a fucking pad of paper. Yeah, smart. He's kid. like, I'm going to need this shit. Ain't got no cell phone in 1988. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, he's like, huh, where is that? And it's a trail that leads to the new tar man. Who's like, like a foot away from him. Yeah, he's like, two foot away. Brains. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And of course, he's falling. The, the, the tar men are always, they look so cool. Yeah, they did. That, this yeah. was one of the ones where I was like, damn, I really, that's a really cool design. Just like the tar men in the first one. Exactly. This one had a little bit more animation in the uh, cheeks and stuff like yeah. that. Like he wasn't as um, grotesque as the other tar man. Agreed. You know? And of course, he's a G.I. Joe. I guess he was a dead soldier that they just put sure. in there with the trioxin, right? Um, so as you do, of course. So Jesse's like, ah, and, and he fucking runs and he trips and the dude's like brains. <laughs> so he, he so goes you get out. that classic trope of the slow zombies chasing me. So I'm running. Yeah. I must fall. So right. They can catch up to me. Yeah. yeah. And, and of course, to create some sort of <laughs> suspense tension. Yeah. <laughs> so he literally like bamboozles the zombie. Yes. Right? Yes. And he, and he just, Steps outside and moves to the right, and the zombie's like, "What?" <laughs> and then he kicks him, knocks him into the water, and he's fucking okay, okay, cool. You never see the tar man again. No, that's the only time. Yep. Um, but he didn't really, he didn't kill him or do anything like that. But at that same time, you know, of course, all everything's becoming reanimated. Right. They're showing everything come up through the ground. Well, we get that because he runs away and yeah. he stops next to the headstone, as you do. Yeah. When you're a ten year old, and kid then all of a sudden, the cemetery in the middle of the night. Yeah, a fucking hand comes out. Right. And he's like, "Oh my god, holy shit!" He sat there for a long time watching that, and I'm like, Mm-mm. "No, dude, that no. would that honestly, me even at this age, I'd be like." Time to fucking go. Yeah, that ain't no gopher. No. Yeah. <laughs> Got to go. Yeah, if I would <laughs> see like a fucking, a weird disembodied hand coming through with like skeleton fingers, I'd be like, fucking out. Time to go. Yeah. Let's go find a flamethrower. But at the whole time, the whole time, I guess, um, because they live on the outskirts of town, the whole town is getting evacuated, which right, we don't they know. they don't even know, yeah. We have no idea, but the G.I. Joes know that the fucking G.I. <laughs> Joes. That the shit fucking fell off there. Right. So they got the two, and they kind of they kind of show a little bit of that to where they're checking out the canisters, making sure nothing came out, and the dude's like, not again. You know, so yep. of course, he's like, fuck. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, after he goes... Uh, after all of that happens and they start coming up through the ground and then you get the nice fucking montage of the zombies coming up and the one zombie's like putting his hand out and he gets stepped on. And he's like, <laughs> and then he puts his hand out again and somebody, he's like, Rup. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, pulls yeah. his hand back. Yeah, you got and then the, even as he's about to finally get out, somebody comes and steps on his head. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like really hard. Yeah, and, and then the one I was like, wow, zombies have an animosity, <laughs> right? <laughs> and the one falls back down into the same hole. It's like, oh, yeah, they're, they're all kind of goofy yeah. and shambling. Yeah, at the, this point, the, the disco stew zombie is yes. the one that shows up a lot in this yeah. shit. It's disco stew zombie, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, what was it? Disco uh, Inferno. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The shittiest wrestler ever. <laughs> yeah, Disco Inferno. Um, but I, I thought I saw like a war World War One veteran, like a, a doughboy. Oh, you may have. I don't remember that, but I could totally see that. But then I'm thinking, because why are they burying world uh, like 1917 people near somebody that died in 1974? Could be a family plot. I guess. I don't know. But that he happens. looked very well intact for yes. being that old. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, so he's... The living dead, sir. Now he is, you know. They're like, brains? Brains. You know? And, of course, Brenda's like, oh, my God, I'm so fucking bored. You know? And she's got to get out, you know? And then she sees the one zombie going around the tree. Kind of almost like the Night of the Living Dead type of a shit. Right. And she's like, look, there's a van over there. Mm. You're free to take it. (laughs) (laughs) But she gets away. There's two zombies there because she turns around there's another zombie. But, Um, But then we have the other two. And they're in there. They're hearing stuff. And and Tom Matthews is still like, man, let's just fucking get out of here. I got to go. And he's drinking coffee. And the other dude's like, here, have a sandwich. The missus made it. 
And that's when the one rises up behind him. Right. And is like, pa, 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 pa. you know, he's like, what is that? Huh? It's like a so Abbott and Costello moment. At this point, from this point forward, Ed is my least fucking favorite character in this movie. <laughs> I, I would have shot him as soon as they got guns. I would have been like, "Done, yeah, fuck he, you." Yeah, <laughs> he does the same. I, I, hate yeah. to, I hate to be that way, but he did the same thing in the first way. one too. Yeah, well, he's like, it hurts. Yeah, I can't. I can't handle that. Oh my god, it's just too much. And I'll be honest, that was part of it that kind of takes me out of it because I was like, "God, this guy is terrible." Well, they're repeating the same characters right. because they were, I guess, so funny in the first one, which they weren't. I feel mm-hmm. like again trying to live that evil dead life, like just bring that character over and we're making kind of the same movie. You know what I are mean? They, yeah. Are they but like related? Changing it, you know? I don't know. Yeah, Anyways. it's weird. And well, they even make a joke about it later on. He's yeah. like, I feel like I've been here before. Yeah. Me, yeah. you, too. <laughs> truth, <laughs> truth. So yeah, they do right. take, they do take it a little on the chin. I, yeah. I get that. Yeah. They, they, they bring it up at least. Uh-huh. So of course the cable guys there, <laughs> but you know, I mean, Jesse, He's at home, right? And he's all covered in fucking mud and shit because he shows up in front of the window while she's doing the dishes. She freaks out. Right. She's like, oh my God. And the cable dude runs over there and is like, I got some cable for you. And it was like a bad porno movie. <laughs> and of course, God, you got to help me. They're, they're, they're alive. They're coming back. And you can hear them moaning and shit in the right. background. They're like, oh, but that's after they get in that fucking Abbott and Costello running deal where they run past each other and like wait a minute i know you and they come back you know and then they fucking they uh they start running away from it and home dude still got the fucking bag in his head so of course right you know what's coming up so <laughs> yeah so of course she locks him in the room and after she like fucking wipes him down or some shit like that it's like you're yeah, going to your room that, you're not coming around she ties the rope from his door to the banister right yeah yeah uh, that, that very much seems like something I would have done to my little brother. Um, I, yeah. Have, I have. Yeah, you're not getting out. Yeah, I put my like brother in the walk-in closet so I could <laughs> watch uh, one of the Friday the Thirteenth with my buddy <laughs> and smoke a joint. So um, <laughs> like, stay in here, punk. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'll let you out in a minute. Yeah, mm-hmm. and of course he's got fucking junior fucking you know. Uh, whatever chemistry kit in his room yeah of course uh, yeah and so he lights some weird kind of smoke and it starts at me 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 dude the Smart kid's fast kid. yeah he's, he's fast, fast too as fuck. his sister opens the door he's like Pew! he's gone yeah and then he goes into his parents room and he's, he calls a number oh for real and it's the same everything right. that was the first one hold please <laughs> <laughs> connecting your call to the general hold on you know, so of course he, you know, he gets through to him, and right before that's of course, when this is when Brenda and the the two Grave Robin brothers yeah. that aren't really brothers, just yeah, kidding, but uh, yeah, they steal the cable truck because they <laughs> yeah. see it. Well, because they just run by Billy's house, right. and the dude with the shotgun's like, "Get out of my!" Oh, hey, what's that sound? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, and your they... family! Yeah, <laughs> get out of here! Help us, Mister! We gotta need some help, Mister! They're being chased by all the zombies from the fucking cemetery you could just hear him and yeah. he's like oh get in the house stupid right you know? <laughs> she's like oh what is that over there but you know they see the cable truck out or a cable van outside yeah because he's going to get something out of yeah, there right because yeah. um, he's got a fix for whatever it is <laughs> what is it he's like i might chip the paint she's like yeah, do oh, whatever you got to to get in the door yeah, yeah where so he, jesse he, is he grabs a fucking screwdriver or right. something. as know. you do yeah <laughs> weird uh, <laughs> that's why I have a wallet. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> um, so, so uh, yeah, they steal the truck, and he's like, "What the fuck?" Of course, he's running out after him. But then, right as soon as he's about to talk to the fucking general, they're like, "Here's a call for you." So here we get fucking Ed, dumbass, like. I can't take it, and grabs the fucking wheel, and then runs into the fucking telephone box. Yeah, because they run over a zombie. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, ah, and boom, and there's no more telephone, right? Yeah. So they have no fucking idea. So this idea. motherfucker not only is super fucking annoying, but prolonged this fucking movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for at least 20 minutes. Uh, because they're was, just... Yeah, because like, there would have been just, oh, okay, well, yeah. there they are, let's get them out too. Then, of course, you know... Um, there was a quarantine, obviously, going on during this time yeah but nobody came to that neighborhood they don't believe in that neighborhood yeah they're like fuck it it's not on 
the map. Yet. Yeah, that's not. Well, I didn't even know that was over there. Exactly. You know, the GI Joes are like, ah, oh, fucking. We didn't do any surveillance. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where we're at because <laughs> even a, a, later on, they're like, I don't even know where the fuck we're at. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's when Horace Pinker's like, I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so they they basically run over that zombie. Home dude's dad comes out. And he's like, oh, d- what happened? You know, and they're like, oh, you you need to leave, mister. And they're like fucking zoinks. You know what I mean? <laughs> like running with the fucking bag and shit. Right. Home dude catches up with them, right? The cable guy does. And the fucking home dude's dad goes out there and he turns over the chick and she's got worms coming out of her head. It's yeah. like, blah, blah. now you got the worm. Face. Yes. And he's like, brains. Crack. Yep. Takes a bite out of him. And then, of course, he's dead. Right. Right. Well, we know that. They go all the way to um, Jesse's house, right, with his sister and everything. They come through the door. You got to help us. We got to get out of here, right? So they're freaking out because he was going to call the hospital. And he's like, no, the phone's dead. And also, he's trying to, like, juke his sister. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like, he runs out of the room. Like, she, he opens the door, and she, like, falls back. And he's like, pew! Yeah. <laughs> so he goes but underneath he her. Was, he was calling the army, right? Yeah, he yeah. called, yeah. and the, But then the, everything yeah, yeah, got yeah, yeah, hung yeah. up. So he's running down the stairs. She catches up with him, and she's at the front door. And he's like, er, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fucking, <laughs> like, he's juking. Like little Barry Sanders. Yeah, but she's fucking badass because right. of her jazz jazzercising That's and shit. Right. She's been training for this her yeah. whole life. And then home dude comes up. He's like, <laughs> there's been an accident. <laughs> and I'm going to call the police. He's like, but the phone phones out of course they never listen to the kid right, right. he's pretty fucking smart um, he's by far with him and of course our main hero cable installer yeah um they're the only ones that have some fucking brains dude that guy <laughs> that guy was yeah that's what you did there. <laughs> um but that guy like was definitely in the wrong position in life you know what i mean yeah like to be a cable installer because obviously he's a pretty smart guy yeah he was pretty smart and he was resilient like mm-hmm. he knew what to do they all kind of get in there and that's when we see the head yeah it's like hey man what you doing with my head <laughs> and that weird fucking voice yeah. is so funny it's like hey put me down ow why'd you throw me <laughs> you know, it's got to say something fucking smart ass, right? Right. So yeah, they're like, oh, you know, because they're all freaking out because they're they they've been exposed to whatever. And it's like it makes my skin feel weird and oily and greasy. <laughs> you know what I mean? When they first see the fog roll in, yeah. they're like, what is that? And it's like swamp gas. <laughs> What's fucking swamp gas? Who the f- whatever. So, yeah, you get to see that fucking headless zombie that's in his bag because it starts moving. Right. Right? And he's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then he opens it. And like Right there, I'm like, you know what's in there. Yeah. You know, you know what you just saw. <laughs> Why the fuck are you opening that bag? But he pulls it up, and the thing fucking bites him on the finger. Well, it's because he's an idiot, dude. He's like pointing his finger at its mouth. <laughs> and it's like, I... <laughs> the fuck did you think was going <laughs> to yes. happen? It's like, nice teeth. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ah, <laughs> that guy that guy pisses me off anyways I- <laughs> right right so of course they uh all the zombies show up and they start busting through everything brains you know right so they're going through it they're trying to fucking block everything uh but then all of a sudden fucking the cable guy turns around right and the fucking zombie that was outside that was trying to break in is right in front of him he's like ah oh. so they get to a wrestling match and <laughs> And it turns on the fucking TV and it's jazzercising. And all the zombies are like, huh? Ooh. Well, and, and right there we get um, how badass our cable guy is too. Because he sends them all out. Yeah. And then shuts the door behind them like, I'll take care of this. Yeah. I'm like, fucking, <laughs> this is like 19-year-old cable installer. Yeah. He's Fuck ready yeah, to go. yeah, brother. <laughs> he, was, he, he was probably signing up for the army. Yeah, maybe. Know. I don't know. Yeah, might have been his summer before. Yeah, <laughs> you know, saving a little cash. <laughs> Keep a little... Keeping a little cash in his pocket, working for the city. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. Oh, so then they're running around outside again. But and- no, it would go back to your point. The the jazzercise lady comes up. Yeah, and and all zombies love jazzercise ladies. So here's your fix right here. 
just get a bunch of TVs with jazzercise ladies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. You know? Take them to They'll Best be Buy. They'll be like moths. Yeah, take them to They'll Best be like, Buy. Like, ah, <laughs> brain, brain, brain. <laughs> and, and then you can just come by and like flame throw them or something. You right. know what I mean? Cool. And this is this is another shitty part too, where they literally go into the vacant house, and they're like sitting there, and home dude. Of course, you know, at, well, you know, I mean, um, the Ed dude actually puts a crowbar through that one zombie's head. Yeah. And it doesn't do nothing. No. So all rules are, you know, null and void again. You can't kill these motherfuckers no matter what. Uh, apparently, though, a great way to get them to stop doing stuff is to punch out their jaw. Oh, punch yeah. Punch out their mouth. You know or grab it. Cause yeah. she, cause she grabs um, it. She grabs it, rips it off, and the dude's like, ooh. Well, what, how's he going to bite you now? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Rip his teeth out. All right. Yeah. So she already figured out the Michonne thing. Before yeah, exactly. Michonne. Yeah. yeah. Pre-Michonne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, they're in that vacant house, and the one zombie comes out, and the dude stabs him with the poker, right, and puts him on the wall, um, which they never really kind of They never go back to that. No. Nah, I think there. he just bought him some time. I'm Probably yeah. not. He's probably part of the last mass. Well, you know... It was kind of a good effect until you could tell that it was completely fucking fake. Yeah. <laughs> and the dude's like, ooh, and it looks like a fucking... But, uh, I, you know, this was branded as a comedy horror, yeah, kind yeah. of like your uh, Bud the Chud or whatever. Right, right. So so the only other person that we haven't met yet is a doc, right? Yep. But they go to his house. They break in through the back, and they knock on the back door, and he's like, hey, aren't you supposed to be in... What a... Huh? <laughs> He's got to do his crazy little antics. You My know? second most hated character in this movie, <laughs> and of course he's got like a he's got he's got Gwildor's fucking uh, Cadillac from uh, fucking from. There's so many, so many similarities to Gwildor. <laughs> um, he doesn't run on neutrinos, uh, right? And and uh, that's the one yeah. thing that the cable guy can't do is start that fucking car. The chick can start the car. She was like, Bring. yeah, let's do it. See you later. But he can, he can't start. He's like, it's, it won't go. And then home dude rolls down the fucking window. Yeah. He's like, James, is that <laughs> you? <laughs> I'm sorry. We all ran out of blah, blah, the blah. Doctor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause obviously he knew the old man. So they're coming through and he's like, hit the garage door. And it's like, it's not working. Oh, hold on. So they have to go through it, right? And then they're mowing over fucking zombies, and they're all over the place. But why does he roll down the fucking window, too? It doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Right, right. Then, of course, they're going a little bit down the street, and the dudes in the back are like, oh, it hurts. You know, I don't feel good. <laughs> you know? And the zombie reaches his hand, because the dude's about to throw up, right? Ed's about to right. vomit. He's like, not in my car. <laughs> roll down the window. So he sticks his head out, and that zombie grabs him by the throat. Yes. Then he rolls up the window, and it rips his hand off, right? And now they're playing hot potato with a <laughs> living dead hand. Yeah, which is like grabbing, it grabs the doc in the fucking, in the dick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it gives him a good old squeezing <laughs> dick. And <laughs> probably the first action he's had in a long time. Probably because he didn't have a wife, obviously. <laughs> so they're going, yeah. <laughs> Him and Ed could have got married. That would have been a fucking great fucking <laughs> yeah Ed's pair married. right there. Yeah. No, no, I think him yeah. and Ed should have got married. Yeah, probably because whoever Ed's wife is, I'm very sorry for. Him. <laughs> he's like, I should have taken the chicken soup or some shit like that at one point. <laughs> a cream of mushroom soup. Somebody's raising bikes yeah. out there. <laughs> Crazy. So yeah. So they. So Welcome they. Welcome to Forza Horizon Five. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> so so they basically throw the th the fucking thing out the window. Oh yeah. And and uh, and the fucking hand just reaches up and flips them off. It's like fuck yeah. you. And like how does that? How is the hand sentient? You know? How's the hand have a mind of its own? That's kind of. It doesn't really fit. That dog don't hunt. That dog don't hunt. So they end up at the hospital, right? Right. You know, they pull up in fucking Gwildor's car, Cadillac. But there's nobody on the streets, you know? Nope. So they go in and everybody's freaking out. So they're doing the whole like Because fucking, the the two are sick, right? Yeah, yeah. They're they're not and, feeling good. And Thor or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tom. Tom. Tom Matthews. Um, or Joey or yeah, Joey, Joey. Yeah. So, so, you know, she's still, Brenda's still freaking out. I thought, she, that's right. Thor was Billy. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so she's freaking out. 
Um, and yeah, whenever they're driving by in the fucking Cadillac, he sees his friend Billy. Yeah. You know, he's like, uh oh. Because Billy's like the most evil of the evil ones because well, he's a kid. Well, and he is more of a living dead. Like yeah. he even runs faster than everybody. Yeah. He, he can climb shit. Because he ate his mom. Yeah. Um, he could pretty much do whatever he wants to. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the other guys are like, he's oh. more. He's more like with it. He's still Cause, there. Yeah. Because yeah. he's just freshly dead. Yeah. Uh, and he, yeah. Di- he died of the trioxin. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So he, this is where you get all the, the tropey shit where he's like... Hmm. So he he takes the fucking he's looking at his Is pupils. He? Oh, the, uh, doctor. the doctor. He's looking at the the pupils, and then he's like, "Hmm, it's upside down." And he turns yeah. and he's like, "Hmm, that's weird." <laughs> uh, and then he goes and he's like, "He stick out your tongue." And and Tom Matthews, he's like, "No." And he does a little. <laughs> Let's put that back in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And then they talk about rigor mortis and everything like that. But the whole time, the kid decides that he's going to go fucking explore. He's going to go find the communications. That's what he yeah. wants to do. He wants to call yeah. the, the, the yeah. army. Again. Right, right. And his sister is like the worst at watching him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would not have let him out of my sight. I've been like, where the fuck are you going? Right, you know? yeah. There's fucking zombies, motherfucker. Yeah. So, of course, he goes downstairs. He's in the basement or wherever, right? And he sees the radio room. Right. Do they have radio rooms in basements? I don't know. Dispatch, right? Yeah. Gotta they had, be. Well, they had like a communication sign. It's like yeah. communications. It would have to be way. dispatch for the ambulances and stuff like that. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking, right? Because well, it's got a sh- that doesn't come out of the hospital, but okay. Right, right. It's got yeah. a sure SM57 mic in right. it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> fucking some high dollar equipment. He's like, K-kung! and it I mean, works. I guess it might have that intercom system. You know, that makes sense. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doctor. Doctor <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're wanted at the front desk. Mr. Herman. <laughs> Mr. Herman to the front desk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dottie. Uh, so, yeah, he says hello, and then you hear the zombie coming through, right? right. But the zombie can smell him because yeah. he hides under the desk for like two seconds, and the zombie's like... <laughs> I like that mm-hmm. the zombies have a heightened sense of smell. Smell, fucking everything, yeah, right? Yeah. So of course he busts through the fucking glass. <laughs> kid gets, uh, uh, kid shoots him with the fucking gun because they stop at Grandpa's house. Remember, right? And they, they gun up. Yeah, they stopped at Grandpa's house because they went out to the police station and they almost got uh, busted again. Right. You know, because she's uh, like, hey, yeah. they do this a couple times in this movie. Hey, yeah, and then it's like. Fucking zombies. You know they're fucking zombies because one, one why zombies. Is, why would a gaggle of fucking people be walking around? <laughs> when the police station is closed. Exactly. Yeah, it's not 4th of July. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's fucked up. Yeah, so yeah, they're always, you know, talking to people and fucking flagging people down. He does it. Little well, Jesse does. Jesse does it, it's great because they're driving cars now. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. in that Jeep. They're like chuds. <laughs> yeah. It's they like end- Bud the Chud. It yeah. really was. They was ended like, up being like chuds. <laughs> yeah. <Right? laughs> Meat. <laughs> so yeah, after he shoots the fucking one zombie in the and face. And it like flies out, the gun flies out of his hand because obviously he's never fired a, a forty four like that. Yeah, because they get the guns from Grandpa's house. Right. Right. Grandpa's gone now. No, everybody's Nobody, gone. Yeah, They're quarant- like, where is everybody? Everybody's I quarantined. Know. Well, Grandpa wouldn't have checked on the grandkids before he left. Fuck no, you no. would have called. No, well they had no phone. Well they had a phone for a little minute. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, we gotta go. In a whole town. Yeah, I know. Somebody uh, would have called. Population eleven thousand four hundred sixty-two. <laughs> um, so they got everybody out. And where? Uh, what Except best? For, you know the zombies and these. Yeah. Shows. Yeah, what best Western are they going to go to? You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> that's 1988. When, they could have still went to a Howard Johnson. That's right. The Hojo. Yeah, yeah. You know? The same one in Poltergeist. There Damn. You go. We are correlating Poltergeist with I, this We're movie. building this world together. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, so, Makes it so much better. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, that's when, you know, of course, they're back at the hospital. They're still <clears> doing, <throat> don't do that. Don't do this. And... He's fucking, they hear the gunshot. Where did that come from? So they go, they're at, obviously coming after him. But yet the kid runs down the hall instead of like, he, I mean, he clicks on the fucking door, you know, for the, the, uh, the lift, the elevator. Right. Instead of grabbing that cart and pushing the zombie down again. Right. And just buying him some more time for the door to fucking open. No, he just runs to it and he's like, shoot. <laughs> And then, he, of course, he comes out, and that dude's after him again. Of course. Right? But then, Big Sis comes out. Because we all find out that she's fucking, you know, state champion or fucking, you know. 
whatever. Right. Yeah, she's some sort of fucking gunsmith. Shooting, yeah, she's, well, I don't know if she can build a gun, but she can <laughs> shoot one. Yeah, she's awesome at it. So she shoots the fucking zombie in half. Boom. Right in the center. Uh, and the legs stay So standing. here we get sentient legs. Yes. The legs are walking around. Uh, and of course, the fucking one zombie gets up and he's walking on his hands and then they shoot him again. He's like, <laughs> what is he? <laughs> <laughs> he sees the little Tweety birds and they're like, let's get the fuck out of here. But, but it of gets course. Jesse. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesse, again, being one of the smartest people in this movie, gets pulls the pin on the, um, Heating or cooling, whatever mechanism. the fuck that was. I would assume that's just like hot, like air like pressure, steam or, steam or some pressure. shit. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I thought it was. And he just releases that into the zombie, sears it down. Yeah, sears it like a fucking steak. Yeah, and he's got no face left. No, nope. and got no face. Yeah, and then they get into the other elevator. <laughs> yeah, as you do. <laughs> yeah, because the other one finally came down one floor. You know what I mean? Right. So they go upstairs, and then of course everybody's. You know, um, the Tom Matthews and all the other dudes, they escape. Um, oh, yeah, you know, Brenda. Ed, Joey, and Brenda, they yeah, escape. Yeah, Brenda takes them away. She's like, I'm going to go get him to another doctor. And then, you know, of course, Ed gets up and knocks the fucking doctors. No, you wouldn't. He's like, yes, you did. You right. know what I mean? The fucking ass. Uh, Terrible. Like, let's ha- go have a drink or something. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they steal the fucking neutrino car. Right. Um, so they're, they're highfalutin out there. And that's when we run into the first G.I. Joes. Cause she, like, she basically, like, um, oh, she runs into them and they're like, we should have been over here. I'm telling you, Captain. You know, yeah. it's like they got fucking lost. And she's like, help us. And yeah. And they're, they're like, like, no. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they shoot fucking home dude because he dies right there on the fucking pavement. Yeah. Ed dies right there and then goes after the G.I. Joe. Bites his head, and they're like, fuck this, I'm out. (laughs) They fucking run. And then back at the hospital, they grab the fucking ambulance, right? Right, right. Of course. Uh, He's like, all right, it's a van. This is my specialty. (laughs) 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 Right? Go, Tom. (laughs) So 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 good at driving vans. I love vans, (laughs) but I don't know how to do anything else. Like, nobody's going to leave the key to the fucking deal in there i don't know how ambulances work i mean i know that there are things and that they drive like a car i assume well i I think they got them at the same place and they got the cable van and the fucking (laughs) probably the ambulance is the same it's probably the same make yeah the same man this is perfect yeah the same car max (laughs) can't believe you just replaced my fucking cable van (laughs) and then he turns on the sirens on accident and then can't figure out how to turn them off apparently yeah he's like i turned them on what did I just? Because they're creeping through town, no yeah, lights, no lights, nothing. And so they're like just that. getting through, yeah. no problem. And then all of a sudden, he's like, burr, burr, "I'm a fucking idiot." <laughs> yeah, I'm the second smartest guy in the room, but yeah. I'm the fucking idiot. Wee woo, wee woo. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like you can't figure that out. You can't like press, touch a fucking button. I know. <laughs> you had to flip a switch to be exactly. able to, to exactly. fucking hit the cherries in that motherfucker, right? So um, Joey dies right in the car, and she gets out and starts running away. Right. Right. End up in the church, and that's her demise. She's like, okay, she can go ahead and do it. He's like, but I can smell your brains, and they smell so spicy. Yep, so this is the end of Brenda. (laughs) Spicy? They smell spicy? What? (laughs) So, yeah, the doc's in there, but they actually get to the edge of town. They're like, yes, we made it. And they get to the barbed wire on the bridge. Yeah, Constantino wire. Yeah. And like, right when I saw that, I'm like, that wouldn't stop me from getting across that bridge. No, no, Like, no. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's going to fucking fuck these tires up. But right, at least right, I'm right. on the other side of the bridge. Or you climb over it. Yeah. But then all of a sudden. No, I would have taken it across and like sidewaysed it and then fucking ran off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I at least try to some do some sort of a fucking little obstruction. But they're like, whoops. No, hey. And then they shoot at them. Fucking start trying to blow them away, right? It's almost like they shot in front of them, though. Yeah. You know, like, hey, back the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. They're be- stopping them from doing They weren't, doing like, it. going for a kill shot or something. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't shoot into the window. Right, right. <laughs> they just shut the lights out of the fucking thing. Right. Yeah. So of course they have to backtrack, and he's like, "They want brains." Yeah, I got an idea. Right. And the doctor's like, we'll "Give oh, them brains." What are they shooting at? You know. And of course, they are fucking. You know, they end up at the meat packing plant. Foreshadowing. Right. You know. So 
they're the last ones alive, right? Mm-hmm. And Hondu's got an idea somehow with the brains plus something else. Plus some electrical engineering that he learned being the cable installer. I guess, right? So they end or up at the power Perhaps he learned plant. it on student council. Yeah, yeah. Or perhaps from almost being on the swim team. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, and that's where we get um, Horace Pinker. You know, they start yeah. shooting the fucking zombies. They're like, there's some of those creeps. Brrr. He's got a fucking 50 caliber fucking yeah, machine gun on there. Yeah, he's just fucking firing, dude. But, of course, they get eaten. It don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't stop them. Nope. You know, it knocks them over, and then they're like, ah, I got gotcha. you. You know, and then that's when Jesse's like, I disagree, like because if he was using that 50 cal, right, that he could have cut that in half. half. Yeah, that would have shredded all of them. <laughs> there's don't like 50 wrong, zombies. He probably didn't have enough ammo for all that. But, right. You know. Obviously, not all the zombies went the same direction, because at least these zombies did. I, I think they did, because they're all the same zombies. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, how many zombies can we afford? Due to budgetary week? concerns, we are going 22. to have to have 22 <laughs> zombies, and they will have to be in all scenes. <laughs> well. But we do get we do get an awesome scene, and this is where we get the Ryan Stiles zombie. And I don't know if you remember this, in the communication room. Yeah, yeah. Because like, they pick up the, the radio in the ambulance. And he's, they're talking, and uh, the guy's he says, like, "Hello, hello." <laughs> but then, in the most distinct voice, they're like, "What should we do? Or where should we go?" And he's like, "Come to the hospital." <laughs> and they're like, "But he looks so much like Ryan Stiles from. Um, do you know who I'm talking about? From um, whose line is it anyway? Oh man, no 100%, shit, hundred percent, dude. I'm like, that's fucking Ryan Stiles. I don't care what anybody says." Hundred percent, yes, Ryan. Well, that was that was a joke that was from the first one too. Right, Wait, they're like send more paramedics. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so yeah, of course that didn't work this time. Right. You know what I mean? So of course that zombie's in there. Like, I, what's he? Oh, he asked him who the president is. Yeah, who's the president? And he's like Truman. Yeah, Harry Truman. And then the, I love because the other guys are like, "Who's Harry Truman?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> they're like, what? So the dude is fucking alive in the fifties, right? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, they they end up at the packing plant. That's when he flags down the fucking truck full of zombies or the jeep, jeep full, of zombies. full of zombies. Yeah, and then you get that fucking wackiness because they can drive a jeep, which is fucking weird, anyways. Not straight, not straight at all, and they can't stop. No, <laughs> <laughs> like, for a while, anyways. Uh, it's like they're just going around all willy nilly. Yeah, and brains. <laughs> So, of course, they get into the back of the truck, and that's when you see them start throwing the brains. So somebody's got actual real brains that they're using to try to destroy these zombies because he runs into one of them, right? And he gets that idea because he right. runs into one, and it knocks into the fucking used car lot sign, and it electrocutes the fucking right. zombie, and then he's dead. Yep. Cool. Stunt zombie number two dead. Right. Right? And they're like, all right, now I got an idea. So they lure him with the brains. So the doc's throwing them out. they're in a big box truck. Yeah, it's like almost a refrigerator truck or something like that. Could be. But yeah, it's sure. a meat packing truck. Yeah. So they're throwing the brains out. Come get your brains while they're cold. You know, <laughs> he's got to be joking, of course. You know. Yeah, that fucking guy. Right, right. So then fucking they, guy <laughs> number two. <laughs> yeah. Fucking guy. So they, <laughs> get, so they get to the fucking power plant. However, whatever the fuck that place is. No, you know. it was definitely a power plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're, I mean, they look back and they wait a second. They're like, let me smoke a cigarette before I shut the gate. Yeah. And then, and then of like, course, it closes just at the last minute as right. the zombies are Perfect. coming. Perfect, yeah. Because you got to build that suspense again. And they're like, <gasps> mm. of course. So they pull the truck up, right? They go into the deal and like, this is it. And he shuts it off with a big switch. Yep. Right? The As one, you do, you can shut off everything in a power plant with one big like, switch. Punk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the fucking sirens are going off, right? So, yeah, then they're throwing brains into the puddles. But yet he's also putting electrical wires into the, you know, the puddles. Right. Um, and that's their whole plan, except for Billy gets a little crazy. Before, before we get there. By the way, this is the same way that you kill zombies in Chud 2, Bud the Chud. You can check that out in the archives. That is correct. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This dude was heavily influenced <laughs> by Bud the Chud. Actually, this movie came out before Bud oh, the Chud. Oh, <laughs> shit. Who stole from who, then? Mm. Somebody was in the same room when they were writing these. 
<laughs> together. <laughs> wow. Like, you do Bud, because you take the one character, like Bub, from Day of the Dead, make a movie built around him. Yeah. And then what we'll do is I'll take Return of the Living Dead and make a part two, but kind of throw in Let's make them that. both a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, that's a great script. Yeah, we'll turn we'll turn the Academy on their ear. Yeah. <laughs> they won't expect this one coming. Which one is gonna make it? My bet's on Bud. <laughs> so We're yeah. Need five more years to develop that idea. Though. Yeah. Of course the fucking kid gets smart and he climbs on the zombies, jumps over, hits the button. He's like, Dick it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's them all in. The kid being Billy, the uh, the kid that died. Yeah. Um. Earlier, the the bully kid. Yeah. Billy it, equals bully. Yeah. Just so you know, it's before they need to do anything. So they climb into the back of the truck instead of the cab of the truck. Right. But he leaves a walkie talkie. We didn't know the walkie talkie had any importance except for they just had the camera on it for a second. Right. Like they took a picture of it for but you. Then we find out that the doctor's waiting. Yeah. But he's having a hard time. He is because there's a bottle of liquor there. Yeah, and he's like, hmm. No, no, I got important stuff. He pulls it out like five times. Yeah, but that's... Actually, it's like three, but... Yeah, it's like, ham it up. Yeah. Come on, ham it up. Ham it up. Do you got anything else funny you could do for this scene? He's like, what I think we really need to do is ham this movie up a little bit more. hmm. He's like, I can can work with this bottle for at least 30 minutes. (laughs) You got 30 minutes of film? Let's do it. (laughs) You know what I mean? My glasses will sit on it. I'll look at it. I'll read it. I'll listen to it. I'll, I'll I'll be about to and I'll put it back and I'll, I'll I'll always just be like hmm it's on my mind you know <laughs> what I mean and they're like fucking brilliant this is great you got it okay just keep going <laughs> this is for the blooper reel <laughs> um so of course you know they're they're stuck in the truck but there's a little door in the top because they're all banging on the fucking back door of the fucking you know uh, silver shamrock truck. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so and of it's course, it's a real small opening. So of course, nobody can fit through it but Jesse. Mm-hmm. And Tom kind of gives him a look, and Jesse doesn't fucking he's, hesitate. Yeah, dude. he's like, I already know what you're gonna do. I already know that look. They've known each other for. What's he, what's he say? My mom gives me that look when I need to take out the trash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know that look. <laughs> and, of course, he learns how to drive a goddamn um, stick shift. Yeah, but, he, I mean, at least he's being talked through it. Yeah. You know, you're 10, at least you got somebody telling you what to do. Right, right, right. And he could be 12. I don't yeah, know how yeah. the fuck old he is. Yeah, he's probably 22. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> He was 34 when they made this. He's Webster's disease or something. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So, way, to, um, way to make it dark, bro. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, so, of course, the, the fucking, nobody knows. He's like, my wacky tank is gone. Fuck. So the doc will know what to do. Of course he doesn't. Yeah. You know, so Jesse, all he does is go straight into the wall. Just right through the wall. And through his friend Billy, because he stands right in front of him. He's like, fuck you. Yeah. Boom. So you think Billy's fucking done. But he's not. No. He's Billy's still. going to be around for a minute. Yeah, he's still up front. So, yeah, they get into that whole chase. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where he sticks a screwdriver in his throat, knocks him off the fucking and Yeah, they the run up, he runs up like a scaffolding. Thing. I don't know. Climbing what stairs yeah, and shit. And then stabs him in the head and throws him off the deal. Yeah. He's kicks a, him off the deal, whatever he does. What does he say? What was his line? You got a big mouth or something like that? Yeah. You don't yeah. know how to keep your mouth shut. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, blow. Um, puts a screwdriver in him. So, of course, you know, he's because he, he's going to save the day. He's a kid. The kid's always going to save the day. You know, so they're still in the back of the truck. Because they weren't let out. Right. You know, and then the zombies have tools. Yeah. You know, so they start, like, hacking at the fucking door zombies and shit like that. Zombies are good with tools. Right, right, right. But still, like, I don't know. It's just fucking weird. So he actually, the the kid goes down there. The zombies that could barely fucking walk and get around. Right? Yeah. Like, hey, you got a fucking axe? But they can kind of run and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, it's weird. And, yeah. So they're about to uh, they're about to die, they think, and she's like, I remembered you. You know, and then they oh, start making out and shit yeah. like that. It's like, we have well, enough time? We're gonna go. Let's we, go on. Yeah. Have a great time. <laughs> yeah, all right. Come on, McDreamy. <laughs> 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 Boy, <laughs> So, yeah, Jesse finally makes it into the fucking room, right? Right. And um, that's when... Uh, Billy the, attacks again. Yeah, he attacks again. 
But um, and that's before. But he hits the power first. Yeah, and he starts electrocuting all of them, and that's when fucking the jazzer sized zombie comes back out, and the fucking uh, Michael Jackson zombie hits. You know, he just walks into frame. Yeah, that's what I was saying yeah. earlier. Is that you're not going to miss it because like they make a, a spectacle. Of yeah, it. he like literally like they're like action. Yeah, <laughs> He's like. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and, and I read that they they drew in all the electricity oh, by hand or something tell. like that. Yeah. yeah, so it looked pretty cool. I mean, yeah, that it wasn't was, terrible. It was a decent effect. But then Billy attacks again, and he but he busts in the room, and he has a screwdriver in his hand, and he kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking. I'm a fucking zombie, and he's about to fucking get Jesse, but yeah. then one of those transformers falls through the fucking roof. How does it fall through the roof? Because of the crash. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a crash yeah, in the, the wall. Crash, yeah. Man, yeah. So I was trying to think, how did yeah, that... Oh, structurally, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, and they were on the roof or Conveniently something? into the room that they're in. Yeah. And then he gets to electrocute Billy. Yeah, and the doc's all fucked up. Yeah, he's you know, all fucked he up. Didn't help. Yeah. He was looking for a drink. He's a fucking douchebag. Right, right. So I don't he, like him or Ed. No, him. so he kicks the fucking deal. All the zombies start fucking... Blah, 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 you know... Yeah. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> they start dying <laughs> fucking one at a time, right? So they're all dead, and they're they're doing the the last walk out of the whole place. They're like, he did and a the good job. The army's there now because yeah. now it's okay because yeah. the kids killed all the zombies. Go they, kids! Yeah, did they kill them? Or I mean, did they call the, and be like, "Listen, we're not uh, infected." Yeah, I don't know. You need to come pick up all this shit. They're like, we need some more body bags over here. Yeah. You know, you can hear all the chatter in the background, of course. And he's like, good job, kid. You know, yeah. um, how about we go get something to eat? <laughs> and he's like, no, go get a bite. Yeah, let's go get a bite. And he's like, oh, my God. You know, <laughs> you know, where's my pipe? <laughs> Trope it up. Yep. And of course, that's it. So l- let me tell you <sighs> real quick. <laughs> Um, this was definitely a deuce. Um, there were some fun moments. I could see how, when I was a child, this was okay. Um, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But the tagline for this movie is, If a nightmare on Elm Street made you scream, and Creepshow split your sides, then Return of the Living Dead Part 2 will scare your brain out. That was the tagline for this movie. Huh. Um, I will tell you that this does not live up to either A Nightmare on Elm Street or Creep Show. Fuck no. <laughs> In no way, shape, or no. form. No. This is also one of the few movies that's on, and I'm not a big Rotten Tomatoes guy, but this has a 0%. Awesome. On, <laughs> on wow. Rotten Tomatoes and only has 20 reviews. How do you get to be on that? I would love to be on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, so th- actually, we could do that as a as a podcast. That would be awesome because we do review movies. Let's do. Um, that. We have to have, I believe it's two hundred reviews on like iTunes or something like that. Oh my god, I could do that in a day. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> well, no, I don't think we can do <laughs> them know, all, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't think that you know we have enough shadow accounts out there to make two hundred. <laughs> oh, individual, individual. You have to have uh, two hundred individual. Reviews, reviews on our podcast. Okay. Yeah. So all 80,000 people or 83,000 this, this 80, month? 80,002. Yes. Um, Thank you, Croatia. Yes. Please give us a rating. Yeah. And and I will say this. If you have already rated us, we can't see. That's one thing we don't see is we don't see any of our international ratings. Um, so if you have rated us in the past, man, grab a screenshot. If send you can. It to us, yeah. and send it to us. That'd be super cool. That would be awesome. And then... Uh, Final thoughts on the deuce? Um, it was definitely a deuce. I would. I'm still dirty from talking about it. <laughs> it. It wasn't. We have watched more unbearable movies than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it wasn't good. No. But it was very much '80s that <laughs> kid empowerment kind of a movie. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. This is like Monster Squad style. Um, the Gate. Oh like, you my know what god! I mean? Yeah, like yeah, all yeah. those movies where it was kids. mainly based around the kid. Yeah, you know. So this, this I could see again as watching it as a kid. You're like, man, this is cool. This kid's cussing. He's smart. He's fucking running fast. You know what I mean? Like he was other than him flagging down a jeep full of zombies. He was the one. Him and um, Essex. Yeah, were the ones making all the great decisions. In life, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and and he was a ballsy kid. Like he didn't. 
hesitate on hardly anything. Yeah, yeah. He already knew what he had to do. Yeah. Like, because he saw that comic at that one point too. Yeah, that the was like Master Blaster or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Master Man. I yeah, think Master... was the name of it. But he's like the cover of it. I loved my Master Blaster. <laughs> Ineffective. Even... It's growing. It's... He seems to be getting stronger. <laughs> yeah, but it's like right in front of a goddamn like sewer drain, just yeah, like that, and it's yeah. a weird tar dude. I don't know, mm-hmm. it's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah so, <laughs> yeah, again, another deuce that hasn't really held up, but this is one of those deuces that I'll probably watch again, more than I will Bud the Chud. I'm not watching either one of these fucking movies. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. It'll be um, like 10 years from now, and I'll be like, I'm going to watch Return of the Living Dead I, Part 2. I could see that. Okay, yeah. maybe a decade from yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> maybe if I smoked a lot of left-handed cigarettes and... Some jazz smokes. <laughs> yeah, if I had some jazz smokes and, you know... Um, yeah, I'd be like, hey, you know what sounds like a good idea? Yeah, Return <laughs> of the Living Dead Marathon. <laughs> you guys are all fucked. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Because Return of the Living Dead Part 1 is a fucking classic. No uh, doubt about it. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, Chud, to me, was a classic. The original yeah, Chud, see? just because I watched it a lot when I was a kid. Right, right, right. Um, but, man, the deuces of those movies. The way they need to, like, re- rename some movies. You know what I mean? Like, instead of remake them, just rename some movies. You can just make it your own movie. Yeah, yeah. And just call this one... Rip off of the dead. Yes. <laughs> yes. Return of the living rip off. <laughs> yes. There you go. That's an alternative title for this fucking movie. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but that was very much the way, like as we said, the last the last deuce was right. Yeah. Um. It was. It was very much just like, hey, here's a little piece of this. This and... was a disavowed movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, like 100%. you know, the movie studio is like, I disavow this. Yeah. I disavow you. I disavow anybody. Um. Associated with it. Even Tom Matthews said something like uh, that the craft services were the best part of the movie. <laughs> I could see that. I could see He's that. A, it was unlimited Cheetos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> unlimited Cheetos and hot peanuts. And I fucking loved it. <laughs> um, but the movie sucked. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was I was surprised to learn. Like, um, they actually did um, a 2018, I think it was, Blu-ray of this. Well, of course they're going to because it's a Return of the Living Dead. I I was actually surprised to see that because I don't think anything before that. I think there was like one special edition that came out before that. Well, the very Uh, first. 2012. um, uh, That was the uh, first special DVD. Um, And then this Blu-ray was, like I said, from Shout Factory, of course. Yeah, Shout's Shout's got all the, the cool shit. Um, but a bunch of special features, apparently, and I don't know that there's enough special features to make me buy a Blu-ray of this movie. Right, right, I don't know what right. they would be that would make me care. Like behind the scenes of Return of the Living Dead Part 2. And then, like, they're filming Poltergeist 2 <laughs> <laughs> around the corner. Or Poltergeist 3, they're like, ah, we share the same sets. Um, oh, that's okay. Toby Hooper is pretty awesome. This girl's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Carol Ann? Mm-hmm. Where's Carol Ann? Yeah. Carol Ann! <laughs> Go towards the light, Head Carol towards Ann. the light, Carol Ann. <laughs> Step away from the light. <laughs> So, our next do so, I think is going to be fun. I think it'll be a fun go- goose. It'll be a fun goose. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. goose deuce. It's a Christmas goose. Yeah, it's a Christmas deuce. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken a Christmas deuce, and let me tell you, it's not as big as the deuce we just dropped. I don't know. Santa Claus blesses me every year. You know, that's the only thing that I want in my, my advanced years. <laughs> You are a grandpa. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, as long as I could just poop once today. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, I'll, I'll be telling that. I'll be like, once you reach an age, <laughs> man, the thing is, you just want to poop every day. Sometimes you just I'm can't drinking poop. this prune juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ate all the bananas I could. I don't think I'm ever going to have that problem, bro. I drink a lot of coffee. Yeah. So and, you're good. Uh, I'm pretty regular. I don't I don't drink enough coffee. I probably should. There are more healthful side effects of coffee than detrimental. Yes, actually. there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's So, you know, also not only drop and deuce, drop in knowledge for Ooh, your health. For your health. Preppets. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we can wrap this one up. Um, uh, yeah. If you have a story about um, Return of the Living Dead or you just want to talk shit, please do it. (laughs) 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, why, don't, why don't you, you know, take a listen to or take a you know, take a watch of this little film. Take it. Take this one for a walk in the park, and then be mad at yourself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if yeah, I mean, really, honestly, you got enough time on the way to work. You can listen to all of our deuces so far. Yeah. Um, from like um, Conan the Barbarian, yeah, or no, the Conan the Destroyer. Um, House Two, the second story. Um, fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. Yeah, that's the best. The one. best one. Yeah, that was the best one. Um, that was the best deuce out of all. Of so that. far, that was a yeah. fucking ripping badass movie. Fuck yeah. Um, and pff, what else? We've done a lot of deuces. Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Oh, that's right. That was with George Clooney. Oh my god, that was a that was a fucking like passing a kidney stone deuce. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I, you can't pee, I, but I, you got to shit. It's a fucking excellent movie, and oh. you should all watch it. Sorry. <laughs> lots but, of lots of left-handed cigarettes yes it'll but be amazing hit us up on those socials um we're on everything from uh wild world of sports the app um <laughs> fucking i can't even to say battle it. of the uh, network stars <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> maybe we need to do that battle of the podcast stars holy shit balls you know, it's funny that you mentioned that because we talked about that like two years ago before we actually started releasing podcasts um, or maybe it was actually right after we started releasing podcasts. Like I challenged some other podcast. That'd be awesome. Remember? I don't know if you remember that, but no. it was in a podcast in one of our quick casts. I was like, "Yeah, bring it." Yeah, whoever it was. I think I think we need some little yeah. bit of cross promotion here. Yeah, maybe somebody reaching out and saying we could all do like Office Olympics. Oh yeah, we could socially distance outside in the I daytime. Know. We could almost have like drinking games with. That's why I said Office Olympics. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could pull the same kind of jokes in these movies like the, the dog did in this one. You know? <laughs> yeah. Just look for wherever job culture is sold and you'll find us. That's right. Um, and when I say sold on the internet. <laughs> for free. Yes. <laughs> for free. And you can listen to all these podcasts and go through all the deuces. It's Halloween. Shit. You need to clear clear your, your bowels um, because guess what's happening? Halloween is going to be completely indoors this year. <laughs> that is true. That is true. It's probably going to snow really bad, right? That's but, right. You know. But yeah, send us send us what you think of Return of the Living Dead Part 2 at any of our socials. Send us an email, um, dropculturepodcast at gmail or yahoo.com. Whoever uses Yahoo. Yeah. Um, There's four people out there. That's true. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Um, yeah, let us know. And I'll tell you what, that whoever has the best insight... I will send some Halloween candy. Oh, there we go. You like sweet tarts? You better. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a nice cornucopia. There you go. All right. So with that, brains. <laughs>